Let's talk about continuous glucose monitors, also known as CGM. So can you tell our audience, you know, what is a CGM and what is your experience using it in your medical practice? Boy, talk about a revolutionary advance. Sometimes, you know, people wave their finger at the medical profession and we've gone too high tech and too uh, expensive also. But I got to say, boy, whoever came up with the continuous glucose monitor, CGM, continuous glucose monitor, uh, uh, kudos to that woman or man who, who did this. Um, it makes life so much better for, uh, certainly for the patient, uh, and for the doctor. Why? Uh, well, this is a small electronic device um, that uh, classically a sensor has to go somewhere in your body. And if you look under a magnifier, you can see that the sensor is tiny little tines, T-I-N-E-S, sticking out. They're, they're a millimeter or two long, not very long at all. And you put the, they, they have to go through the skin, but you don't even feel it. And there's a special applicator. Uh, there's one uh, put on the back of my arm here, and you push the button and the spring-loaded clip drives the uh, sensor onto your skin and, 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 and you don't really even feel the tines going in. And because there's an adhesive there, it sticks there. And that's it. Uh, and this device will constantly measure uh, the amount of sugar in your blood. There's a lag period of 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes, but it gives you a very good ballpark figure of what's happening in your body at this time or in the recent minutes ago. Uh, and uh, there are so many advantages of that. Uh, one, that the patients are grateful. I don't think it stops that cursed finger stick ritual that, that is just dreadful to uh, have that so painful and, and constant where the rest of your life you're going to stick your fingers four times a day. What, a, uh, what an exquisite torture that must be. Well, that disappears. Um, the reading comes out, the, your blood sugar number comes out on your cell phone or on a special reader that you're given. And, and think of the advantages of that. Um, those terrible events in improperly measure or manage diabetes where the patient either wakes up or after a day at the picnic and the family reunion, uh, they wind up that evening or next morning with a blood sugar of 400, 500. That, that damages the tissues and, and the eyes and the kidneys. It's not good uh, for that to happen. But unless you stick your finger, you don't know. But boy, you got that CGM monitor on. You know when, when if you're getting in trouble. So to at least raise your insulin dose or watch your, better yet, watch your diet at the picnic. Uh, don't be eating all that fat because the fat increases the insulin resistance. So one, it, it, it both avoids those spectacularly and damaging high blood sugar episodes, but also, especially if the person's taking insulin or is a runner or whatever, it keeps you from bottoming out. And uh, if you're headed downward, the fact these new devices, we have a little arrow there telling you you're headed downward. And now you know it'd be better eat something. And so if so, it start, cuts off the highs and the lows. If it just did that, that would be uh, that would be a wonderful advantage. Uh, but also, it really tunes the wearer of the CGM into the effect of their diet in general and a given meal. Everybody's body reacts different to different foods, and uh, so you'll eat a. Um, a, a sandwich uh, with uh, with avocado and tomatoes, and uh, and and an hour later, have a look and see what uh, what that's done to your blood sugar. And then next time you have this sandwich or you have a hummus sandwich and tomatoes uh, without the avocado, see what that does. And and after a while, you get to know what each what what is what what do six almonds do for your blood sugar? Uh, you know, an hour later, you get to know what these individual foods are. And as time goes on, you begin to just smooth your diet into a congruent pattern where your blood sugar is going to stay pretty even. And after a while, I people don't even look. They know what the, what the number is going to be on the on the uh, on the monitor there. And finally, the third great advantage is that me, the doctor, I get to all those numbers that are come broadcast to the patient are showing up on a website that both the patient and I have access to. So I don't have to wonder how his blood sugar control is doing. I can zip on the website and I can see very well what he's on. And I know if I, he's got a big uh, you know, spike upward that lasts for three days, I, I will ask him, where, where did you, were you traveling? What, where would you go? Where did you eat? Uh, so, uh, so for the 
in so the improvement in diabetes management from the physician's point of view, um, they're a godsend. So, boy, uh, I don't have any stock in a CGM company, but I wish I did. Uh, it, it's a brilliant <laughs> device, and it's really helped the patients and the and the healthcare professionals so much. So, you, know, you folks out there who have not yet gotten one, don't put it off. It's going to make your life easier. It's going to, and you're going to live longer. You'll hold on to your eyesight more. You'll hold on to your kidney function because you know, it keeps those highs and lows from happening. Uh, so uh, so really strongly consider CGM, no matter what they cost. They're not that expensive. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, I, I can say I personally wear a Dexcom G6. been doing so for many, many years. Absolutely love the device. And it's funny you made the, the comment about the stock, like the Dexcom stock absolutely blew up. If anybody got in early on that is doing very well.